Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Psychic Bell Love. You can book your own personal and private reading with me on my website, psychicbelllove.com. New clients can use coupon code NEW, all in caps, at checkout to get extra money off any reading and previous clients. Keep an eye on your emails because you will be getting special coupon codes here and there throughout the month. So you can also add on an energy healing to any appointment as well as there is the option to do skip the line emergency appointments if you don't want to wait for my schedule to be open. So also I do not take reading requests on YouTube. You can join my Patreon for access to that as well as where I post all of the stuff that I cannot talk about on Instagram or YouTube and all of the content that goes on my Patreon never, I don't do the whole, oh, it's a week early for Patreons. That's completely exclusive content that stays over there. And you can also follow me on Instagram. All that information will be linked in the description box below. So I just wanted to take a look at Juan Dixon and Robin Dixon. I'm sorry to remember their names for a second. So everybody keeps saying that they're cheating on each other. I guess they're engaged and everybody doesn't think that they're actually going to get married. So I just wanted to take a look at that real quick. Um, I haven't watched, I didn't watch last season and I haven't watched any of this season yet. So I missed if, did they get engaged last season? Because I was trying to remember. I'm like, I don't remember seeing that on the seasons that I watched. So... Let's see, Spirit, please join us and answer any questions that we have about the relationship, connection, marriage. Are they going to get married between Juan and Robin Dixon? Thank you, Spirit. We're asking only with the intention and purpose of clarity and understanding, not with any bad intent just so that we know which path they will take towards. Thank you, Spirit. Please also protect all who we ask about in this reading as well as all who listen and participate. Amen. And once again, it is never okay to say, well, I know you don't take YouTube requests, but, and then email me or you know, do it on Instagram or tag me on shit on Instagram and say, I can't wait for you to do a reading for this because that is a violation and a disrespect to somebody's boundaries and rules. And so I will just put that shit on the never doing it list instead. Three, four, five, six. And keep in mind, I do not do on demand mediumship readings ever anyways, but I don't do mediumship on YouTube anymore. And I will never do anything talking about abuse to children or whodunit crime stuff either. That is not where my energy wants to be. Okay. So the first thing that is coming up is, you know, any like love that they did have between them is showing up more in this past position. And Juan is actually the one that's showing up as the more emotional person in this sense of it. And it feels like I lost my family. I made mistakes in the past. I learned my lesson and I wanted to, you know, win, win them back because we have him showing up as the King of Cups with this Nine of Cups. But this is in the past position after this death and rebirth with this devil card before talking about Obviously, the relationship originally ended because Juan was out here in these streets zipping it and doing it, as, you know, Miss Wendy Williams would say. And, you know, he had his sort of come to Jesus moment of wanting to go back and fix his family. And for a time, things were better. But 
they're having money problems again. And they're going to try their hardest not to let this be shown anywhere because they worked so hard to dig themselves out of it. But it feels like they didn't necessarily like learn their lesson. And it's actually, it's like, like Spirit saying, you know, counting on money that's not there yet is the problem that they seem to do. It's like, oh, well, Robin's got her hats and you know, if she makes $100,000 off of them, then we have the money to put down, you know, towards the taxes and everything. But it's like, did you make the $100,000 off the hats or received it yet? Cause you put yourself in debt anticipating a check coming in that's not arriving. Because we do have this nine of wands here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse talking about there being uh, you know, we worked ourselves out of it just to put ourselves back in there because lessons about handling money better were not learned. <sighs> the underlying energy of the whole entire thing, you know, on this first poll, just seeing what spirit wanted us to know about the energy currently and, you know, where we have been shifting from. <coughs> Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. It feels like for both of them, at least for the last couple years, because maybe this did start off with this whole like, well, you know, we're starting over after everything didn't work out the first time and both of us are dedicated to this. It shifted from trying to make this a better relationship into such a focus on we have to fix our financial situation that both of them are really not realizing that the love really isn't there anymore. And it really is just about work, money, the kids trying to get through the day. We do have this tower card moment coming up with the six of swords, the nine of swords. And wands current energy is coming up as the knight of wands. That's kind of a cheating card for me of somebody who's in sort of that immature place is still wanting to zip it and zoo in it because they're not getting their fulfillment where they're currently at. So they seek it outside of themselves. So uh, this is going to be coming out because we have the hangman, the star card and the hero fan right now. It shows like, you know, right now, like the truth hasn't qu completely come out, but it is going to. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, by the time that we get to reunion time, there somebody doesn't pull up some proof of, well, there's pictures that Juan was out here with this girl Friday night. You still get married, Robin, you know, and that sort of becoming an issue like during the reunion. Because remember, they already pre-shot things. So by the time that we get to the reunion, sometimes it's like a year, a year and a half, even two years later, so, things happen in the meantime. Spirit, please tell me what is going to happen between the two of these. Are we going to actually see these two finally get married again? Thank you, Spirit. And, you know, Robin... Like I said, I haven't watched the show, but I do catch up with like, um, Kempire or, um, Up and Adam just to, cause you know, when I do readings on a certain thing, then YouTube starts recommending me all kinds of videos on that same subject. So since I did the Erica Girardi, you know, videos, then all of a sudden, you know, Up and Adam and Kempire Daily and all those people keep getting suggested even more and so I've been kind of you know on the sidelines keeping up a little bit without actually watching the season and from what I remember being said on there was that Robin was using the excuse of she didn't want to get married during the pandemic because it was going to keep her from having the type of wedding that she wanted to but spirit saying neither one of them is pushing for this to hurry up and happen. Like, don't think it's like, oh, well, you know, Juan's dragging his feet. Robin's dragging her feet just as much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twen
And honestly, Robin, you might get out of bed and like overcome that depression if you just face the fact that you know that you're dragging this marriage or whatever it is out when it just no longer is what is supposed to be for either one of you. And sometimes that's where people's depression comes from is that they just don't want to have to open up their eyes and face the truth of their situation. So they'll try to ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. And that's where you get this, you know, weight holding you down, this burden until you finally decide, okay, I'm just going to rip off the bandaid and make that tough decision, even though nobody wants to. Okay. So there's definitely, ooh, Robin's having an emotional affair too. <laughs> um, This doesn't feel like she's met this person yet. They're coming into her life. And it is an emotional affair. It's not, I don't see Robin like, you know, sneaking out of the house in the middle of the night to be making out with some dude in the back of the car, you know, three streets over or any of the kind of crazy, like sneaky link stuff that Juan himself does. <laughs> but this feels like something that starts off as a friendship that quickly turns into a lot of emotional dependence and what we would end up calling an emotional affair because obviously if you have to hide anything from your partner and it's not I'm hiding the fact that I'm trying to you know buy you your dream house or some good surprise but if you know your partner would be upset and you have to hide it, then it's, you know, that gray area there and that's where she's falling into. I would not be surprised if this person is not like a production assistant or somebody who works on the show or ends up working for Robin's hat company or maybe they work on the show and they kind of like give her some ideas for the hat company and things cross over. This is also somebody that is younger than her too. So we'll see her actually come out and date this person once her and Juan split up because there is this death card here talking about with the seven of swords. Juan bit has been sneaky. We've got the devil card here. Eight of cups. Ten of Swords leading to this, you know, death card. So the truth will come out that Juan has been out here cheating and him and Robin will split up. Now, the crazy thing is Juan's going to be the one that walks away, not Robin. Robin will try to portray that she is the one that has, you know, next season or whenever this all like takes place because I don't know Bravo's production filming schedule. But um, what Spirit is saying is even with her finding this out, she still is, it's just that depression, laziness, procrastination, whatever you want to call it that Robin is just so great at because she's basically an expert at that. <laughs> She's still not going to, she's still going to be like, well, what are we going to do about that? And Juan's going to be like, yeah, we're done. And then all of a sudden, you know, we're going to see Robin out here trying to have this hot girl summer. Because <laughs> she will be. So it, this is the thing though, Robin, he's doing you a favor because Spirit's saying you would have been cut from the show next year or the next season. And at least this gives you some interest in a storyline because then everybody's going to want to see how is Robin coping, you know, is the single mother out here again and trying to <coughs> get her life together. She's still, even though she will have that other person in her life, she'll be out here on TV acting like, I'm doing everything that I can um, to be this, you know, strong, independent woman and I'm turning my life around and I'm happy without him. On the other end of that, <laughs> behind the scenes, 
she's still gonna be giving Juan crap. We were supposed to be together for the kids. We were supposed to have a baby. She's still gonna be trying to work things out with him, even though she won't be letting all the rest of us in on that. But Juan's not gonna be going back. And honestly, I think that him cheating again is that I put myself in a situation and made a commitment that I actually now don't want anymore or really actually maybe never ended up, never intended on actually truly doing anything anyways. Um, I feel like, you know, he was trying to sabotage things so he could get out of this <laughs> Instead of just doing the manly thing and saying, hey, you know, I just don't think that this is going to work out when it comes down to it. And he will make sure, like, the second that Robin really starts to push him, like, well, you know, I think if we go to a counselor and try to work things out and we talk to this and that, he's going to go on purpose, find himself another relationship to be publicly in to try to get her to give up on the idea of trying to reconcile with him. So, uh, Robin, I know you said you were so glad Ro uh, Juan Dixon wasn't here right now. I think Juan Dixon is trying to do everything he can to not be there right now. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, but you know what, Robin? You don't have to sit there and just be like, oh my God, let me try to work it out with Juan again. You can use that as your way to completely free yourself from that situation and boss the heck up and go out there and find yourself and find your happiness. Because there is some things in life that are going to happen to us regardless. And when, you know, the expiration date on a relationship or a connection hits, and you keep trying to drag that spoiled milk back out again, it's just not going to work, you know? But if there is something that is meant to be, whether that means something's meant to leave your life or come in, it's all about how you choose to deal with it that's going to determine the experience that you have. So let's all pray that Robin uses this upcoming split from Juan to better herself finally. Um, either way, it'll give her some more time on the show at least. So, uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and end that here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. If you made it to the end, let me know. Do you watch this franchise and who is your favorite person on there? Mine is obviously the Grand Dame, Karen herself, and I can't stand Giselle. So <laughs> anyways, guys, I love you all so much. I will see you all again soon. All the information to book your own reading with me will be in the description box below and I will see you again soon.